You don't go, hey, I'm a police officer, stop there, I'm going to kill your dog. Intimidate the The person impersonating a police officer. Yeah, that's, that's... Which is a crime. What's up, man? Thanks for coming down. No problem. Nine o'clock this morning, these folks, uh, they left their dog out, golden retriever, mm-hmm. uh, was uh, got out of the garage, took off running, mm-hmm. like a silver GMC uh, pickup, and identifies himself as a police officer, flashes a badge at them, and says, if you can't basically keep your dog, if I see your dog do this again, I'm going to kill it. This is Daniel? Yeah, that's me. Are you able to see who we are? I see who you are, and I, I, I know why you're at my house. All right, 10-4. Hey, Daniel. Well, I made a horrible, horrible, not a really horrible judgment call, but... Just double sure check. Right. Yeah, and doesn't say honorary on about or whatever. Yeah, so... Well, he admitted to it. He's like, oh, yeah, that's just, she just gave it to me. Appreciate you hanging out. I don't have a choice. <laughs> no. Thank you, Go back to Romeo Papa. Even if you have a training, like an officer, you don't, you don't go, hey, I'm a police officer, stop there, you're going to kill your dog. Intimidate the person, you know? It was okay. So you, that's what, okay. So I want you to check if it's a normal person, if not a crazy guy. Who's a, that's it. Yes. We are stuck so, with a baggage. You know? Okay. So we don't you have nothing against him. Okay. We don't know him. So you do not want to write a statement? No. 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 Okay. I, do I have to? I don't know. Uh, well, it's up to you. I mean, we're gonna. I got another officer on the way, mm-hmm. um, so we're gonna go down there and try to make contact mm-hmm. um, to find out what what the yeah. deal is. Yes. Yeah, but if, if, say, for instance, he is not a police officer or whatever, then that's not good because if he's doing that kind of behavior, mm-hmm. basically, it's impersonating a police officer. Yeah, that's that's which that's, is a, which is a crime. It's, oh. You can't. You cannot just impersonate a police officer. No, 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 no. Um, people go to jail for that. Yes, of course. So. Um, <laughs> we'll find out. Find out. But uh, do you at least have your ID if you don't want to write me a statement? Can sure. I just get, at least get your information? Yes, sure. I have, I have um, a driver's license. I have a password if you want. Okay. This is my driver's license. Okay. I mean, if you want, I mean. Yeah. I can just I can just have you very briefly just put down okay. um, what you said yeah. that way because I'm regardless I'm going to be doing a report on this okay, okay. because you have even to. if he is a police officer or he's an officer of some sort I mean that kind of behavior should not be I mean like I said I don't know if he was having a bad day or what but like I said there's a certain way of behavior way to conduct yourself on duty and off duty and that is not but it's, it's, off duty, I mean, you. Know, I mean, if you're going to identify yourself, it better be in a in a, in a polite, professional manner. Yes. And it may be, it, it better be for a good reason. Yes. To help somebody, or or whatnot, or or, or to prevent something from happening. Even agree or not agree on something, the dog. But, but I no, think. No, but don't no identify. Like there, are, the there are three dogs in that street. Mm-hmm. That street in the back, there are three dogs on, like mine. So I think mm-hmm. he has a problem with other dogs. And it was a very bad day, but the thing was very aggressive. And here and there, uh, three o'clock, you see kids with dogs every every five, every five minutes. Mm-hmm. So this guy with a baggage and said that kind of stuff. I'm a, I have two kids, so I, I try. I think I, think I have to. Yeah. And where was it? It was right here at... Uh, it was in this street at the end. There's a... Is that, that's the haven right there, right where the stop sign is? Oh, so right by that loop? Yeah. The roundabout yeah, there? The dog rounds. Okay. The, the curbside. Curbside? Okay. ¿Cómo que se llama la acera? The walk street? The walk uh, place? The walk, I don't know. Curbside. That's the street, and that's, how do you call this? Curbside? Yeah, this is a uh, sidewalk. 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 Yeah. <laughs> tomato, tomato. I tomato, mean, tomato. close enough. <laughs> All about the same. We understand. Kilo 27 off of what's my 1099? Who knows? Thank you. Maybe some more people. After. after, yes, who knows? And again, sorry for making you come here. To no, you don't have to be sorry about anything. It's not really a crime, but it's important. 
Well, I mean, like I said, if he's identifying himself as well, a police, as a police right? officer, and that's a crime in itself. I mean, yeah. if you're going to be yeah. just like if you're going to be, you say you're an attorney, yeah. you better have your bar card yeah. available to show yeah. that. Um, no. That's 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 a point. It's a thing to find out. And you would be able to, if you saw him again, you'd be able to identify him? Yeah, sure. Okay. I tried to speak with him, polite to say, excuse yeah. me, you, maybe you're confused with the dog, I'm just, it was not that normal behavior. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he do that with other neighbors. No. Maybe he do that. Usually, yeah. Because he has that well, baggage. When he go the crazy, no, they bring no, no, no. it. No, we don't know if it's a police, but okay. if he has a baggage inside the car, so he do it constantly. That's why he said, if he not officer, he has very heavy uh, problems right now. So. Tomato, tomato, sneer. That's why he said. About nine o'clock. Yeah. My wife, me, and my mother was. In the we place. are. Okay, there you go, sir. You. And then uh, you're welcome. If you want to just print your name right here, sure. And then just basically state what you told me okay. that uh, on February 23rd, 2018, at approximately 9 a.m., your golden retriever dog got out of the garage. Mm -hmm. You went into your vehicle to go track him down, Ooh. and you were over by the Haven and Randall Park. Mm -hmm. And then this is what happened. Okay. Okay. I, I think he is not officer. You know why? Because when we because of the go around and I told him take a photo of his plaque. Play. So his plate like because it thing. could happen okay, something here. tomorrow and we, we, we didn't know nothing. And he start running and going back and say where he's going. And then he says, Let's go over there and he he stopped his uh, Vehicle, vehicle on the uh, no in the house but the size of the lake that that size no in his house uh -huh. no, i mean no here no in the parking so no in the ground grab, how you call this the grass yes uh -huh. the grass. okay so you didn't know what house he was in but he wasn't in the car at that moment Maybe he's the president. What? The president. The president. The president. The president. The president. I mean, like I said, he could have just been having a bad day. <laughs> and angry. <laughs> but did he, he specifically said police officer? Yeah. That's that's why. Yeah. I, no, he you, said you, that. You need yes. to put that in there. When I he told that, I was, you know, you change your attitude because as a neighbor, you do something, but as a police officer, you have to, you yeah. have to say, yeah. okay. I have to be clear what is happening here. What's up, man? Thanks for coming down. No problem. Nine o'clock this morning, these folks, uh, they let their dog out, golden retriever, uh, was got out of the garage, took off running, mm -hmm. and then they jumped in their car, went to go get him, and he, they were basically by DeHaven and Randall Park by the roundabout there. Oh, yeah. And so then a, like a silver GMC uh, pickup, Sierra comes like pulling up next to him or whatever, guy rolls down his window and starts basically cussing them out and identifies himself as a police officer, flashes a badge mm -hmm. at them and says, uh, if you can't basically keep your dog, if I see your dog do this again, I'm going to kill it. And then, so then he asks, oh, you're a police officer? And then uh, he tried looking at the badge and then he like hit it. And then he took off and sped down over here, went a different few ways. And then I guess he backed in or pulled in over here somewhere. And then they got out and took a picture of the tag. And so I ran the tag. The tag comes back to right down the street. So we're going to go, uh, I'm just having him write a statement quick to see. Okay. We make contact. The guy, I pulled him up in David. No problem. No. He didn't make any other threats, did she? Did he just yeah. that he would kill the I dog? Stopped to kill the dog. And he was a police officer, so call. I don't know. He was he was having a very bad day. <laughs> you remember what kind of badge it was? Was it was it, it like was, silver? It had, it was, was it gold? No, was it was it square. It was like a star. You know? Like oh, like a star. It was nothing around. Just just the back, like of the star. And he just, he wasn't the car, yeah, he was pretentious, he turned out, he was a little safety belt. And he took the baggage, he looked at me and he says, I'm a police officer, he took the baggage. And when I saw that, I just go away to his window to speak with him right away. Yeah. And he take the baggage and put it in the bag. And I was like, this is not a normal behavior. That's when my mother says, go after him, let's see who is, who is this guy, why he's still showing him back here.
You didn't see any like lights or anything in the truck or anything? No, 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 no. It's not going to be uh, on Mark Car because they have, he has a personalized Miami tag. There's no officer. It's a good moment to say hi. <laughs> you can no continue to do that. Well, it would have been an opportunity to, to introduce himself and say, "Hey, I'm your I'm your neighbor, and I would appreciate it if you keep your dog from running loose." Yes. yes. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yes. Right away, and I'm going to act. I'm so sorry about this. Yes. Mm -hmm. My kid opened the door. He was yeah. running like a crazy. So, I'm sorry. But like I said, I'm doing a report regardless because if he is law enforcement, I mean, he shouldn't be no, no, acting like that. No, begin with. Work. So I, no, it's, um, it's not a police officer. I, etica, the ethics. Ethics, ethics yeah. You have your ethics. Well, like I said before, like if work. if he's basically implying that he's a, yeah. impersonating a police officer, yeah. people go to jail for that. Yes. So you cannot just impersonate and say, oh, I'm a police officer. And we call that uh, substitute identity. It substitute uh, somebody that he wants to be, but he isn't. That's a normal. That's a psychic uh, thing. It's not good. You got your uh, thing through your thing again? I mean, I'm tired of having stuff all over the place, man. It sounds different. It does. It's a lot different. You probably get better reception, though, up where yeah, you're getting a little bit closer up. Yeah, I'm not down here, so it works fine out there. I'm just tired of having stuff up here and stuff pulling down on my shirt, so this is yeah. easy peasy. Nube, a big nube. A uh, big what? Nube. <laughs> uh, cloud. Cloud, yes. You have to practice. Yes. Practice. You're doing very well. Thank you. <laughs> You're very kind. <laughs> I was studying in Columbia University one, long time ago. Yeah. Long, long time ago. On 77. 70, oh, wow. 78. Mm -hmm. Two days ago. <laughs> Sorry about my English. It's oh, you're fine. My no, you're... Is better. My French is better. My Spanish is better, but my English is sometimes not difficult. As I say, I, I don't want a problem with my neighbor, you know. Maybe you have to write I, down. I want to be sure that he was a police officer <laughs> he was showing something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, it's not a game to show. It's not a police officer. It's not. Mm -hmm. well, it's against the law to impersonate a cop, anyways. What I uh, make a fast. What's... Depart. Depart. Okay. Yeah. He tried to get lost, and then I called the police. Show me a badge, and then, okay, here's police officer. I might have killed the dog. Okay, um, you swear it from everything you wrote here is true. Sure. You just signed right there. If my mother was here there, my wife, and my two yeah, that's kids, fine. everybody was together. That's fine. And then uh, if you just put your initials right there, it just says you'll testify in court on her behalf if need be, if we ever have to go to court for anything. No, 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 okay. No, no. Yeah. Um, so I hope not. You guys are going to be you're gonna be here for a few minutes? I'm going to be for, yeah. Uh, we'll let you know. Regard one of us will come down here, no, and, we'll, just and we'll. I know, but I'm saying one of us will come back down here and let you know okay. uh, the outcome. Okay. Um, you, you put, see, if you no, no, we wait here. There. We're here. No. Yeah, if you, it won't be too long. I mean, it won't be too long because if we if we do make contact with somebody down there, mm -hmm. we'll have uh, have you just verify that we're okay. you know if it gets to that point. If it goes a certain, if we make contact with a certain person and it goes a certain way, whatever based on what they tell us, okay. we may have to have you just, no. you know, just jump in maybe a car, or walk down, yeah. or just to show, I, I just want to verify to it is the same person. I, you, I don't yeah. have a problem. Please. Yeah. Well, I, I I understand that, but like I said, it's the the whole thing. You cannot impersonate a police officer if you're we not a police officer. So if he's not a police officer and he's doing that, then that's he shouldn't. I mean, it's gonna come to an end. Not okay. Um, <laughs> Kilo two seven alpha. What? Show myself and Kilo 24 Alpha. We're going to be out at references. Actually, it's right here. Is that? Let me check. What did I just say? Eight. <laughs> so it is down. It is down a little bit farther. So I was right initially. There you were. I just want to hold that front. I'm just going to walk back. I'm going to see if that truck's still there. <laughs>
Nope, nothing. So I don't know. They said he parked it on the street initially. It's all dark, so I don't know. Man, that sounds different. It does. I'm not. I'm still trying to get used to it. Oh, it's still showing. Oh, my camera usually picks up. Oh, yeah. Oh, off. See, it's still doing the circular thing. Little doggy. Hello. Phone. Usually. Oh, there we go. I got somebody here. Hi there. Sorry. Hi. Oh, no worries. How are you today? Sorry to bother you. Is uh, Daniel here? No, he's not. Okay. Um, I guess there was an incident um, that we're investigating. Um, how are you related to Daniel? He's my boyfriend. Okay. Do you know, where does he work? He works at Publix. He He's work, not at work, though. He works at Publix? Yeah. Okay. Does he do anything else? Uh, no. Okay. Do you know where, uh, do you know where we can get a hold of him? Um, I have his phone number. It's in my cell phone. I don't have it memorized. But okay. But he's getting his finger trimmed, and he had a doctor's appointment. Do you want me to get his number? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Thank okay. you. Yeah. One second. Sorry. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, it's me. How are you? This is Daniel? Yeah, it's me. Hey, do you, uh, are you able to see who we are? I see who you are, and I, I, I know why you're at my house. You know why? Yes, sir. I, I, lost, I made a false accusation, and I was a little upset this morning. You made a false accusation? Okay. Correct. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we're going to need to meet with you in person, given this, uh, given what happened, okay? All right. That's all right. I, I know. So, um, give, do you have an approximate time when you're going to be here? Because we really need, I mean, we'd like to get, we'd like to get this over with as soon as possible. You know what? Let me, let me call the radiologist. Let me see if I can cancel. Okay, that would probably be the best. All right, time for Okay, uh, so you're going to be on your way back? I'm actually, go ahead, stay there. I'll, I'm on my way home. Okay, all right, thank you, Daniel. All right. All right, bye. All right, bye. Yeah, we've got his phone number. Thank you, though. Okay, okay, no problem. Turn my camera off. There's a team to stabilize at this moment. Yep, we're going to 10 3, wait for him. He's on his way home, and uh, we'll reinitiate camera when he gets 10 12. Yeah. Hey, Daniel. So it's a horrible, horrible, not a really horrible judgment call, but go ahead. No, keep you, you got something to say, you can say it. I mean, um, no, well, see, what happened was that there is a golden retriever that gets loose all the time. So I, when I, when I was coming home, I saw him in the middle of the road. I made the U-turn to get it. And I, when I saw the owner picking it up, I said something to him. And I have, I have a, an official uh, Broward County Sheriff badge. My best friend is a, is a sheriff deputy. So when he, there was conversations, I, I told him I was going to report it if I see the dog loose again. And then he said, are you an officer? Out of judgment, I should have said no because I've never done this before in the four and a half years I've had the badge. Um, and I said yes, and then that's that's what it that's how it ended. Okay. Do um, you want to just have a seat for me? Yeah. I gotta. I'll be right back, buddy. All right. Here. I just gotta. Do um, you have your ID? That's perfect. I appreciate you. You don't have anything on you now. No, do you? no, no. Okay, it's all, my, it's all in my truck. Oh yeah, if you just want. To. All right, so um, I just gotta go over some questions here for you. Okay, That's you fine. said what you wanted to say, so now that I have my opportunity, um, <clears throat> you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Yes. Anything you say may be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to talk to an attorney before and during questioning. Do you understand? Yes. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, one will be provided for you before questioning without charge. Do you understand? Yes. 
Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? No. Okay. Okay. So basically, you've already said. I mean, that's that's, what that's, was, that's the whole truth. I have no reason to lie. I'll admit. I'll, I'll, and then as soon as it happened, I called. I came home real quick. So I had to go get a haircut, and then I, I had the radiology appointment set for eleven thirty, and uh, I I told Heather I'm probably going to get in trouble. So I mean, that's where we're at. Okay. Yeah. I mean. They were really, I mean, cool about it as far as, you know, like they... In no, in no terms that I say I was an officer. In no terms. I would never do that because I respect the, I respect everyone in blue. It, it was just out of... I, I didn't want to see the dog getting hurt. It was nothing about me trying to impersonate a cop. Like I said, I've had the badge on me for almost four and a half, five years. Mm-hmm. So that's where we're at. And, you know, I never... In the five years, I've never done that. It's always been on my, on my overhead visor. So... Uh, and, you know, even me having it, I drive a truck. So, you know, she gave it to me as a <clears throat> used to go to Miami Dolphin games down there when I used to live down mm-hmm. there. So, you know, she's like, oh, if you ever get in trouble, just use, use this. And, you know, it usually gets you out. Like, I've only had to use it once or twice the most. Once with you guys in here uh, going to work. And then that was really it. Okay. And who was, who was the one I gave it to you? Her name is Danielle. I tried calling her. As soon as I got done talking to you, but her phone is off. They have, is that like a family program, like where you can hand out an honorary badge where it says like, does it say like family no, member? It, it says Broward County Sheriff. Uh, and it's a straight up? Straight up badge, yeah. And they're allowed to do that over there? Apparently they are, because she, when she gave it to me, uh, she, uh, she told me that they don't have, because I, she told me they don't have like friends and family badges. Yeah. So, because I know there's like mini replica ones or whatnot. Yeah. But no, she she like gave me an official one. Okay. Because I know some agencies um, do like they give out like an honorary one and it will say like family member, this one um, something like that, like an honorary thing. Okay. So, um, okay. Have you been having problems with anybody else's dogs around here, or were you just there was that particular dog in this? No, it's not, there's no issues with the dog. It was it was the issue of the dog always getting loose. I was more con- I love animals, so I was more concerned about the dog getting hurt. Because when I drove down Randall Park Boulevard, it was in the middle of the street. Yeah. So then I made I was on a rush to get here to handle something, but then I made the judgment call of making a U-turn to see if the dog was all right. As I was pulling up, I happened to see the owner uh, getting it. There was an issue with another German Shepherd a couple houses down, but that's been resolved. Okay. So, okay. So you, you're saying though that at no time that you said that you were a police officer. He asked me. He asked me, and I did say yes when I should have said no. And then, did you, before he asked you, did you show him the badge before he asked you, or did you show him after? I pulled when when I told him next time I'm gonna, or he said, are you gonna report it? And I, he when he said, are you gonna report it? And then I pulled the badge, and then he asked me, and then I said yes. So you pulled the badge, and then he asked you no, if no, you were... First he asked me, are you going to report it? <clears throat> Go ahead and report it. Because I told him, next time I see the dog loose, I'm going to report it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yes, that's when I, I, I pulled the badge off my visor, and I was like, okay. And then he asked me, and I said, yeah. And then I said, don't have the dog loose, and then I went on my way. Did you threaten to kill the dog at all? Oh, absolutely <clears throat> not. Okay. Okay. Because I pet the dog has been down in my house, down this way before. I would never threaten. I have two dogs of my own. One that I'm spending thousands just to keep alive right now. Mm-hmm. I would never threaten to kill a dog. Never. Okay. If that came up, that's absolutely 100% false. I'm being 100% honest with you. I'm telling you exactly what happened. You know, so I was. Oh, your story. I mean, like almost like almost spot on. There's only one one discrepancy or whatever that you know could have been misinterpreted or whatever but basically your story almost matches his story spot on i knew i was wrong as soon as i did it yeah i was going to go to the lake no no i was going to go to the lake no no field office mm-hmm. and report myself for doing this because I, yeah. I once i get in touch with danielle i already know she's going to bitch me out and i'm more concerned about that more than anything and what um it's on my truck yeah. Is it open? There is a firearm inside of it. Okay. Oh, just stay seated. Stay oh. seated. Hold on, I'm just unlocking it. Where's the truck? At? Back here, back. Yeah. Dan, where's the, uh, where's the bad guy? I just want to look. It's on my sun visor, sun on the driver's side. Okay. What's Daniel's last name? Right. Danielle. You don't mind if he gets no, no, go gets fine. it? Danielle Wolf. Wolf. And she's with uh, Broward County Sheriff. Sure. Broward. Yeah. <clears throat> You said it was about four years ago? Yeah. Okay. 
Perfect. Uh, Sarge just went into the back just to go look at the badge. So where do you work, Daniel? Publix. Which Publix? I work in distribution. Okay. How long have you worked? I used to work at that one. Now I work at the pharmacy distribution off of uh, Rocket Court near uh, Trayport Drive. Okay. <clears throat> Keep going for you. Yeah. Go ahead. 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 Go Can you try it again to unlock it, Daniel? Here, you can. Why don't you take it back there? Can I get up? Um. Here, let me go. I'll walk through the house. There's nothing in there. No, just try to try to un try to unlock it one more time. <clears throat> Is it open now? Yeah, All right, just have a seat again. He got it. Thank you. I really appreciate your cooperation, Daniel. Yep. Um, just have a seat for us. I mean, it takes a lot of, a lot of courage to admit, you know, and do what you're doing. It's not courage. It's just more of, I'm not going to sit here and lie. Well, I mean, you'd be surprised, though. I mean, it, it, it's, it is part courage because most people want to deny it or refuse and, or make something up and aren't accountable for their actions and it takes some courage to, to be able to stand up and, and be accountable for your actions numbers or anything on it, but right. I'm, I'm just going to call him real quick and yeah. just double sure check. Right. Yeah, and doesn't say honorary on it either. Sure yeah. yeah. You want her uh, to work to that's Danielle Deputy Wolf. That's the one who said that. She gave it to him. Danielle Wolf. Okay. Deputy Wolf. You want me to for, uh... Let me call... Uh... Let me call Drew Thomas or George Carbonell first real quick. Okay. Let's see if uh can I see uh, that's him. What you need? Uh, Did Donnie tell you what happened? Yeah. <clears throat> that's one. Normally if it's like honorary, they, there's something on it, but there's nothing on this one, so well, he admitted to it. He's like, oh, yeah, that's just, she just gave it to me, which I kind of find interesting, but... All right, make some phone calls. All right. Just give us a moment, Daniel, okay? I'm just going to be on teletype for a minute. Hey, is our, uh, our meeting tomorrow at 10 uh, Most likely, yeah. Okay. Sorry, just wants to... Uh... Just check, make sure. Hey. Hi, Are you working? Hey, listen. I made a mistake. Diane Wilson, 1054, not a period record, regular ID. Did you have a middle initial? And it, and it involves the friends and family badge you gave me. Okay. I, I, there was an issue with a, with a neighbor on the street that lost a dog. And, he, you know, there was a little word said between him and I. And I told him next time uh, the issue happens, I'm going to report it. And I don't know why, but for some reason, I went on my sun visor and grabbed the badge that you gave me. And he asked if he asked if I was a police officer, and I said yes. I, I don't know why I said it. I know I know Danielle, but OPD is here. Do you want to speak with her, officer? Um, maybe possibly just uh, give us a minute. All right. Well, as long as she can uh, have her phone accessible. All right. Ten four. <clears throat> I don't, Danielle. I don't know. I've never done that before. I don't know why I did it. I know I can't do that. I don't know why I did it, then, Hill. Are you are you working right now? 
All right, well, they, uh, the, the sergeant is doing something. He may want to talk, talk to you before something happens with me. So. Take what you can send them out. Tavor. No, uh, I think they're trying to verify whether I can know you. What's her uh, cell number? Uh, the reason why I didn't want to talk to her is because, I mean, not saying that you've been very straightforward and you've been honest and you know up to this point, but there's really no way to verify that. That's fine. That's I mean, fine. it's like I could call my, you could call somebody, a friend of yours, and be like, hey, I listen, you so, yourself to me. I totally understand. So, but trust me, we're gonna I'm do. Sure, I'm sure she can give you the info where you need to go ahead and validate it because I don't. If that, that that was given to me from a Broward County Sheriff deputy, 100. percent She's yeah. one of my best friends from down there. We dated a little bit, but then we decided dating wasn't wasn't going to work, so we became very close friends. Yeah. So it, I respect that. I mean, I trust me. I mean, you you being cooperative like you are, I'm going to do everything we can to to try to help you out as best as possible. I'm assuming this is a arrestable offense. <sighs> you can be honest with me. I'm not going to get mad. What do you what do you what do you think it is? Absolutely, 100%. I mean, it's it's pretty serious when somebody you know you hear the stories about people decking out their cars, yeah, and you know trying to do traffic stops and no, I understand. you know so. I understand. Kilo two seven Alpha Tally. Daniel, have you ever been arrested for anything? Yeah, mostly driving on suspended license, but that was that was over. 10, 11 years ago. I haven't been... Your license is good now, though? Yeah. All right. Once I... I was an habitual traffic offender at one point, and once I got arrested the last time... Oh, no, 12 years ago. Excuse me. About 12 years ago. But no. Nothing since uh, I was uh, an habitual. Okay. How many tattoos you got? Just the ones you see in my two elbows. You say you do the pharmacy distribution stuff? Yes. Is that like the medications and everything? Yes, sir. Do you have to have any type of like background checks or anything regularly for that? Yeah, the DEA has to, the DEA, FBI has to clear you. And they do. Every four months they take you in for a drug test. Oh, really? <clears throat> yeah. I was always curious how that works. What's that? I was always curious how that worked in the, on that side of the thing. Yeah, you have to get cleared by the DEA and FBI. They run a full background. It has to be cleared by the federal government. <clears throat> yeah, that would be the wrong person to have in there. And there's some probably pretty powerful potent stuff back there. Yeah, but not everyone has access to that stuff. That stuff is kept in like a, like in a, uh, a I'm talking about like a uh, heavy vault, like, Oh, okay. And there's cameras everywhere. So, I mean, it's pretty hard to do anything. There's 24 7 security, when, even when we're closed. That's how the distribution center over here is. They always got people in there. Correct. But this that one is labeled as a public warehouse. This one isn't. It's like an incognito mode. Oh, okay. So you couldn't even tell. I, I mean, public records show it is because it used to be a Toys R Us warehouse, but they, they converted it into a public warehouse. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's in there. It's uh, the sergeant has it. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if I get arrested. It's not. It's all my fault. I don't. I don't know. It's. Uh, all I said. When he asked me, all I did was say yes, and that's all that happened, and, and then I drove off. And yes, there's one behind me and one in front of me, sitting down on my front porch. But he took he took your phone number down, uh, so they need to talk to you, they'll contact you. All right. All right. So what, we, what exactly are we waiting for right now? Uh, our sergeant's making notifications or whatever, just finding out, getting some info. Yeah, you know, like things, there's a lot of red tape that publish on something. There's a ton of red tape for us. I feel you. Like we have to go through a chain and 
sometimes that chain takes a lot longer to get through than That's fine. other days. So. Do your tattoos have any like symbolic meanings in them? No. So then there's some numbers and stuff on them. Just the birthday of my father on the right wrist, and then the, for? And then the uh, death on my right. I mean, I don't know. Death on the left, birth on the right. Okay. Sorry for your loss. Man. It's fine. I appreciate it. Appreciate you hanging out. I don't have a choice. <laughs> no. Thank <laughs> you, Papa. I ask Heather to bring me some water. No, that's fine. that doorbell ringer up. Is that to connect to your internet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it just goes right to your phone? Yeah. As soon as I uh, left the barber and I saw someone was at my door, I already know. I already knew it was y'all. I was like, son of a bitch. I didn't even get the... Op- cause my, Like I told you, I was going to go to Lake Nona after I left the radiology because I needed to yeah. get down on my thyroids. Uh, and I was going to come to y'all because I, as, as, as soon as I did it, I already knew I made a mistake. Just me saying one word, I knew it could get me in a shitload of trouble. So... Uh, I was gonna go, but thank you. Oh, I see a couple more sprinkles. Stay away, sprinkles. The thing is, I left my wipers on my car running, so I won't have any uh, visibility issues. <laughs> you, know, you need to pray for some rain, because what will end up happening is just going you know, to wear all your rubber away. <laughs> hey, wait. Yeah. Hey, that's right, too. Go ahead, Daniel. This is what's going on. This is your license your CWP and I'm saying this strictly because you've been so cooperative and if you had not did what you did as far as like owning up to everything and saying hey you know what I screwed up whatever that's why you're not in the back of my car and that's why you're not going to jail today okay um, but the I am doing a report, I am doing an affidavit, it is getting sent to the state of Florida, where the attorney's office will look at it, okay. they may decide to pick up charges on it, okay. and at that time, then okay. you could be subject That's to fine. arrest, okay? Um, but I really do appreciate your cooperation, and like I said, it, ta- it takes a lot. For a guy to you know own it and because you'd be surprised you may think that it's just normal because that's how you are but you can ask my partner and you can ask me we deal with grown men all the time grown adults that won't take responsibility they won't you know hold themselves accountable and they make excuses and they don't have the the courage to be able to own it and be like you know what i screwed up i made a mistake and i need to just do what i need to do to make it right okay. and so um as far as the badge that's going with me, that's and that's going to be put in evidence. That's fine. Um, my sh- sergeant that was here contacted uh, Broward County, okay. verified, and you weren't supposed to have that badge. Okay. She was not basically, and that's not your fault, okay. but it was not your friends to give, okay. if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. But you guys were able to validate that she was a, 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 mm-hmm. a deputy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but the badge is going to be, I'm taking that, putting it in evidence, and that, uh, so you won't get that back, but... Do you have any questions? No, sir. Um, I can't tell you how long or what you what you'll hear, but okay. with, you know, but just so you know, it's out there. Right. Um, learning experience. Yep. So, um, if you don't have any questions, you're. What was this validated for? I'm just curious. Oh, uh, it was just uh, because you had mentioned that uh, 
And you were felony. habitual, and a habitual used to be a felony. Oh no, I back was, in the day, they, they, they just. So what happened was when I went, I was just before the borderline of habitual when uh. All this okay. Happened. Okay. When I did get when I did get this, they did fight me on it because uh, through the state attorney's office, for some reason, my last arrest in 2006, they stated, "Am I allowed to stand up now?" Yeah, you're good. They did say that like the last time I was because what happened was I just kept driving on a suspended license and I didn't give a shit back in the day. Yeah. But no, I was never once I realized I spent two two and a half weeks in county jail down there, I said enough's enough. So I yeah. hired an attorney, went through probation, and that was the last time I got arrested. Up in, and that's the last time I really been in trouble until today. So No. And I, I relayed that to my sergeant and I said, Hey, because we he asked about your background and I said, Oh, he had some you know, some traffic stuff or whatever about ten years ago or whatever, but he's turned his stuff around and and uh he hasn't had any issues since, so he's got a steady job and I said, But the main thing was that your cooperation. I, I mean it. so you take care, okay? Uh, thank you. Thank I'm you guys. Thank you too. All right. Stay stable eyes, camera off.